Hey everybody, it's I Want To Be Retro. Today we're going to take a look at updating our Microsoft Surface RT tablet to the unofficial Windows 10 build. To get started, open a web browser and download the Windows 10 Media Builder tool for Windows RT devices. Navigate to your downloads directory, then right click the downloaded Media Builder zip archive and extract it to a folder on the root of the C drive. In File Explorer, navigate to the extracted folder, then right-click build.cmd and run as administrator. Carefully review the list of devices and enter the number that corresponds with the target device. Review the notes and warnings for the device, and if you wish to continue, type Y and press Enter. Choose if you'd like to install an app pack, and if so, which app pack option. Choose if you'd like to uninstall BitLocker. Choose if you'd like to uninstall Cortana. Choose if you'd like to uninstall Windows Defender. Choose if you'd like to set a Windows product key. Choose if you'd like to install Office 2013 RT. Enter option 1 for Windows Setup, then enter option 1 for WIM format. Review the summary of the options you selected, then type Y and press Enter to begin the download process. This process can take about 30 minutes, so be patient. When prompted to create USB installation media, type Y and press Enter. Enter the drive letter of the USB device to use. Double check you've selected the correct drive, then type Y to proceed with formatting. When prompted, answer N to creating an ISO image, and N to opening the folder created. Press any key to close the media builder, then remove the USB flash drive and boot to it on the Windows RT device by holding volume down and powering it on. Click Next on the Windows Setup screen. Then check the I accept the license terms and click Next. Select the Custom Install Advanced option. One at a time, select each of the partitions listed, select Delete and OK to confirm. Once all the partitions have been deleted, select the unallocated space and click Next. Wait while the Windows 10 RT files are copied to the device. Once the installation completes, the device will reboot. Wait about four years while Windows gets devices ready, and eventually you'll make it to the sysprep. Select your region, then click Yes. Select your keyboard layout, then click Yes. Click Skip on the second keyboard layout screen. Click Skip for now on the network connection screen. Enter a username for the device. Enter and confirm a super memorable password, as well as a required password hint. Choose if you'd like to use Cortana. Deselect all the privacy settings, then click Accept. Wait another two and a half years while Windows gets your desktop ready. Welcome to Windows 10 RT, running on your Surface RT device. Before we're ready to start using the device, we need to apply a few registry fixes. Copy the registry fixes from the video description, then launch Notepad on the Windows RT device, paste the registry fixes, and save the file as bugfix.reg on the desktop. Double click the bugfix.reg file on the desktop to merge the changes into the registry. Click Yes to confirm. Once the registry fixes have been successfully merged, you can delete bugfix.reg from the desktop. You now have the unofficial Windows 10 RT build running on your Surface RT device.